With the expansions bringing us closer to a new world of Pokemon and forms, let's take a look at some of those legendary Pokemon that can jump on the hype train for new Gigantamax forms in the hopes that at least one past legendary Pokemon makes their mark in this new generation's addition to changing up Pokemon. And to keep these topics all nice and aligned, we'll also be working on those possible mythical Pokemon in their own series of who can I pick to form change this week, along with some non sword and chill topics as well. <clears throat> So stick around and subscribe to see those, and witness which mythical Pokemon could make the cut. But today, we'll be bringing a final episode to the legendary chapter for the Sword and Chill expansion until the new games are released, to highlight some notable and asked for picks in this group, and having those mythical Pokemon that need some love in their own series of videos, just so we don't have to fight over technical titles. These are the top 5 new legendary Gigantamax Pokemon forms for Sword and Shield's expansion. 3, 2, 1, let's go! Number 5 Giratina While Giratina might have its own specialized form already, that doesn't stop it from being one of those Pokemon that could benefit from being given a new form to bring in a new dimension of terror that bulks it up and forces you to remember it as the banished Pokemon it is. A lot of Gigantamax forms really exemplify the inner nature of Pokemon while making it feel like a true form of their emotions. And with Giratina being violent in nature, and the owner of some real estate down in the dark pit, the searing red aura looming around it could not only highlight that, but show it off as the big boss it is to actually afford that much land during these rough times. It is unlikely that they would give both forms a Gigantamax version for each, but to be more reasonable with the pick one that Game Freak always forces us to do, the altered form would look to be the most fitting choice for this type of design evolution, and we can just save the origin form redesign for when the Diamond and Pearl remakes come out. You would still have the Slithering Snake version in Sword and Shield that can, and was known for sliding through dimensional fog and slipping in from portal to portal, however now you'd also have the altered form in its Gigantamax version, standing tall with its pillaring legs, structured even stronger, and with its now upgraded wings that could be more sharp, and ready to carry this huge hunk of emitted angry violence into a new region. Someone's gotta do it. I don't know where the counselors are in Pokemon to tame this beast. Who even did the banishment by the way? Was it just Arceus? That's a little unfair. Where's the group of at least 12 jurors for a fit trial? I mean, it would definitely still get banished, but we at least need a vote. Can't just be the judge and jury of everything there, Arceus. It's not like you own the universe. I'm hoping we'll be getting at least one legendary Pokemon from a previous generation to receive a new Gigantamax form, and not just have it be the two Urshifu. However, if any Pokemon is likely to be picked, it has to be one of the third legendary Pokemon that sits alongside the two other endgame Pokemon in each generation. And Giratina would also be twice the size, and it's from Generation 4. You know what's two times Gen 4? Generation 8, Gigantamax Giratina confirmed. Number 4 Mewtwo I know we may have mentioned Mewtwo in the last video for which legendary Pokemon could be given a Galarian form, but if there's anyone who can get away with both, it's Mewtwo. While that is definitely rather unlikely, Mewtwo always stands out as the lone legendary Pokemon that's separate from other legendaries. Hiding in its own exclusive cave, sometimes just sitting on the couch by itself browsing its phone while everyone's asking where it is because even though it's having a chill time just figuring out the three new additions they made to the new iPhone it just bought, the rest of the Pokemon at the party are asking where it is because it's just that popular. Mewtwo was given two Mega Evolutions which was not questioned in any way compared to Charizard getting to. So giving it a form that could smooth out its design and give it the same Gigantamax Melmetal treatment where you can see it go from the smaller creature that transforms into one that really doesn't change that much of its color but simply touches it up in a minimalistic way and makes it look even more sleek, buff, and threatening in its stance that would really do wonders to highlight Mewtwo's personality even further, really adding in twice as much of that main antagonistic persona that we know it as from the anime with a touch of Dan Green. Mew two times the size really comes off as one of those Pokemon they'd add in as the only other legendary alongside the Urshatus to be given a Gigantamax form, just with the priority on Generation 1 Pokemon in this new form, and being able to slip past the criticism by hyping up this monstrosity of a popular creature while matching the amount of form Charizard has without the backlash. Although even with all that considered, it would still be a wonderful addition to see this old endgame Pokemon being brought into a new region and having a new and remade unknown dungeon that's twice as long for you to sift through and capture this legend. Number 3 Zygarde Zygarde is another one of those Pokemon that can stand out as its own solo legendary Pokemon that would need someone to follow in its footsteps and be given a form as well. If Xerneas gets one, then Bacon Burr needs one too. But if Zygarde gets one, 
then it can just keep that to itself like the other two keeping their box art not jumping in to say something to Game Freak about Zygar getting one too. Kinda sketch. Evil tells the bearded death so I can see that coming from it, but Xerneas is about life. Zygarde is another legendary Pokemon with multiple forms, and giving it a Gigantamax to each would be rather difficult. I'm sure all of us would like to see one big dog brought into the games with Gigantamax 10%, but regular Zygarde, getting this type of form and having all the cells throw themselves at it like the miniature special attack that the Heart and Paper Mario does, so they can prop up Zygarde even further and create a sort of alternate version to Zygarde Complete, would make this Pokemon even more legendary with its now two ways of form swapping. We can have Zygarde complete when it drops below half HP, and Gigantamax Zygarde 50% if it Gigantamaxes before its HP drops that low. That's two different ways of getting your percentages to 100. It could either look like a Mega version that's similar to its original X and Y design, or be another bipedal transformer looking creature, but more of a rivaling design like Megatron and Twitch Prime. This would make a really fun way to get two forms in one go, where you can Gigantamax and Power Construct in the same battle. But another idea that might be mentioned in the comments a lot, would also be Gigantamaxing Zygarde Complete even higher into the sky. I mean, it says Zygarde's Complete form is the perfect form. What if it got bigger? That's twice as perfect. Waiting for Power Construct and then Gigantamaxing can let you further tone up that completed form to Zygarde 200% for twice as many likes on this even greater form. And to go even further, we can have those two Gigantamax forms for Zygarde able to be unlocked before and after Power Construct to not only fit in two new and differently designed Gigantamax Pokemon into one, in a unique way, but also make an incredibly overpowered Pokemon with new mechanics to take on the new disruption to the ecosystem by the legendary Sky Hand in its new transformative forms. Number 2 Necrozma. I really just have to say it Ultra Necrozma with the Gigantamax form? Perfect. Well, that would be a bit tricky as a form onto a Pokemon that would need to be unlocked within another form to then be given this form with this new form. Alternate Krozma has a design that's one of my favorites and could be designed so well to make it radiate even further as a Dragon of Light. The Dustmane and Dawnwing forms for Necrozma are sort of blocking it from getting a Gigantamax, however, as you need to send those out and then use a move to even unlock Ultra Necrozma, as it's not entirely its own Pokemon and more of a bonus to its other forms. While there could be many amazing designs to be given to this loved Pokemon and use it to create this hugely popular Angelic Gigantamax, having just Necrozma in its original form could create a great rival to the Pure Light Dragon. Maybe we could deepen the lore and make Gigantamax Necrozma a dark inversion from an alternate timeline who could not find the light in its pain search and tries to take revenge on the one that reached its Ultra Form. The tyrannizing Prism Pokemon can bring that same dark feeling you get upon seeing Gigantamax Grimmsnarl, but with its own specialized touch being even more terrorizing as a legendary Pokemon that gave itself up to the darkness and is surrounded by its looming past of at least one of the Kingdom Hearts storylines with a shadowing dark aura emitting from it like a smokehouse brisket that's burned. Just seeing the original Akrozma toned up in a new form, possibly feeling defeated, failing to find a source of light and trapped in darkness while being overtaken by it could be the bane of anyone's existence who tries to mess with this Pokemon that is ready to exact its revenge. This could pose an amazing fight between two legendary forms with a background of alternate dimensions and different timelines that Sun and Moon's story was known for. Number 1 With all these Pokemon having that same characteristic of being the third legendary Pokemon in each generation, except for you, that tends to roam solo, Kiram tops the charts as the Pokemon most deserving of a Gigantamax form and has the makings to be turned into the best form there is. A great thing that Gigantamax forms do is making a Pokemon look more confident in their design and how they are presented. And of all the endgame legendary Pokemon trios, Kiram is the one that can benefit the most from that. Reshiram and Zekrom both have that readied and assertive stance, whereas Kiram does look fierce, but a little more on the smaller, humble side in between the two. Just look at those tiny arms. And with its only form being ones that are overtaken by the look of the other two, having a Gigantamax that creates its own form that only highlights the characteristics of Kyurem to give it its own personalized Ultra form could really unlock the potential of the exclusive Ice Dragon. It could turn into even more of a similar beast to how it is, while buffing up its arms and wings to show it growing while staying true to its original appearance and adding on some more enhanced features to pick out the perfect toppings that would make it a great meal. It could also follow in the footsteps of Zekrom and Reshiram, where it grows that backbone and stands tall on its two feet as well to show the progress it's made from being the third dragon created from the leftovers when the two others in the Tau Trio split. 
Honestly, I'd be a little mad if I found out I was just the leftovers and not at least part of the original dinner. This icy dragon needs some revenge to not just be a side dish in the other two fusions, and with the Gigantamax form, you can mold even more of itself and create it to be standing tall and in confidence of its equal greatness to the thunder and fire family members of its group and become bigger than the two of them could. Maybe we could even split Black Kyrim and White Kyrim in half and keep the more iced half of each and put them together to make the completed trio that might have been the first dragon before they all split. Kyrim brings not only a great base design to be toned and tweaked with additions to make it even greater, but also a unique story for its creation as a lore-focused Gigantamax Pokemon that isn't just settling for being leftovers and wants to be freshly prepared.